I will never understand people with a broke mentality. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm talking about people who don't strive to live a better life. Um, as you may be well aware about me, is I like nice things. Uh, and I've actually had some people, some were friends at one point, uh, say that I'm materialistic. And I think that's a bit unfair. Let me explain. Now, you can go out and buy any car you want. You can go out and buy a Ford, a Mazda, a Toyota, whatever. I, myself, own a Lexus. Um, and while it's not the most luxurious car, it is within my price range and that's why I have one. Uh, I do strive, however, and if you know me very well, you know this too, I do strive to someday own a Mercedes-Benz, possibly a Maserati, possibly a Aston Martin. Maybe not though, because it's just a glorified Ford, but that's not the point. The point is, I have these aspirations that I want to achieve in life, because we only get one life, and I want to be successful, I want to live comfortably, I want to be wealthy, you know, it doesn't have to be overwhelmingly wealthy, but enough to where I don't have to worry about if the rent is due, because hopefully I'll own my own house at one point. Um, but what I don't understand is, is when people attack me, saying, you're, I'm just materialistic. Danny, you're materialistic. You don't need a Mercedes. You can settle with a Mazda. Yeah, I could settle for a Mazda, but do I want to wake up to a Mazda 6 in my driveway? No, I don't. Um, do I want to wake up to a Mercedes S-Class in my driveway? Absolutely. It doesn't have to be an S-Class. It can be a C-Class, an E-Class, or whatever class. Personally, I like the G-Wagon. You know, that's a $250,000 overpriced Jeep, basically, from Mercedes-Benz. But I would pick that over a Jeep Wrangler any day. Sorry, Kayla. I know you're watching. And I know you like Jeep. My bad. I'm not a Jeep fan. Uh, the Wrangler is nice, though. But if I had to pick, I'd pick the G-Wagon from Mercedes-Benz. Um, I mean, is there, it does everything... The Wrangler does, I, you know, I guess it doesn't, I don't know if you can take off the doors, but at the end of the day, though, let's be honest, and I'm getting off topic, would you take a G-Wagon in the mountains? Hell no, you wouldn't. You would not take a G-Wagon in the mountains. Yes, it's made for that, but it's a luxury vehicle, and screw that, not doing it. Back to my point, though. Um, don't let people shame you for liking nice things, and I, and, and I don't understand why people try to attack me. They say, Danny, you're so materialistic. You don't have to have an iMac. You don't have to have a MacBook. Blah, 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 blah. You can get an HP computer and just live with that. Yeah, I could. You know, if I want to be, if I want to have a mundane life, let me buy an HP computer. Screw that. Screw that. There are people who deal with this because they think, oh, I don't need anything fancy. I just need something that's affordable and just gets by. That's cool. If you like living life with a limiter, go ahead. I built this gaming PC for a reason. It's nearly $4,000 and I didn't spend all of that at once. But I put in the time, the work, and the money to get quality. And even then, because it runs Windows 10, it's not exactly quality. But it runs better than any other PC you buy in the store. That's a fact. I know other people who build PCs can attest to that as well. Building your own PC is expensive. But building your own PC is worth it. It's going to last way longer than anything built in a factory in China. Now granted, most of the parts that you buy are also built in China, but they are premium. And if you put it together with your own specs, it can go a long way. So I will never ever understand why people choose to live with a broken mentality when you don't have to. And, and you can make excuses all you want. Oh, I have a minimum wage job. Find a better one. Oh, I can't afford college. Student loans. I couldn't afford college and I got in now. Granted, it's gone, it dropped out, but I had the opportunity, it wasn't for me, and now I'm well on my way to paying all of that back, uh, which thankfully isn't a ton. Uh, some people have it a lot worse. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. Just don't live with a broke mentality. Work hard, get paid, and reward yourself. There's nothing wrong with that, and I don't understand people who see something wrong. There are people who shop on Wish.com. Half the stuff on Wish.com falls apart in your hands. I know that from experience. I shopped on there in the past, never again. And there's a reason why they sell graphics cards for $20, because they're not actual graphics cards. They're crap. Crap parts slammed together and shipped to you eventually. Oh man, got a G. 
GTX 1080 Ti for 50 bucks. It's not a 1080 Ti. My 1080 Ti and my computer was a thousand. It's a real thing. It's the real thing. And uh, it didn't have to go with, with the thousand dollar GTX 1080 Ti GPU, but that's what I wanted. And at the time, actually, I think that was actually the cheapest because it was the inflation period uh, earlier this year with graphics cards. But th this beside the point. The point is, you don't have to be so cheap that you shop on Wish.com for quality when it's not quality. It's knockoff Chinese bullshit. And if you choose to live that life, then you're going to be disappointed uh, more often than not because most of that bullshit is going to fall apart in your hands. Known from experience. I bought a watch off there one time. Uh, it looked nice until I held it and it literally fell apart in my hand. Screw that. So, that's my little rant. Uh, people who live with broke, who live with a broke mentality will always be broke. People who work hard and want nicer things in life will have just that. It's not rocket science. It's not hard to understand. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.